Hi, I'm Xavier. Did you know that bagels are made of magic? Hey, hi, welcome back to Science with Xavier. I'm Xavier, your guide to the outside. And that was a clone I made to help me uh, act out some of the situations I'm recycling and reusing. But I'll get into that later. Well, let's start, shall we? Natural resources are resources that come from the earth naturally and are not man-made such as water, salt, and oxygen. Oxygen is what we breathe in our air, as well as an ingredient to burn rocket fuel. Natural resources, such as forests, can be replaced at the same rate as they can be consumed, though some forests are consumed faster than they can be replaced. These are called renewable resources. Non-renewable resources are natural resources that are used up at a much faster rate than they can be replaced. For example, coal may take from over 1,000 years to over 1 million years to form, which means that once there's little left, humans will have to find another resource to take its place. Natural resources both renewable and non-renewable, should only be used when necessary. For example, the energy to power heating systems, our cars, and our devices, such as one that you're watching this episode on, may be powered by a non-renewable resource. Always turn off your device when you're done using it, as well as turning off the lights when you leave a room. The last way of conserving natural resources is by recycling. Recycling is a process where paper, metal, and some types of plastics get scrapped to make new products like paper towels, new water bottles, and even car parts. So not only does it conserve the amount of resources being consumed to make the product, but it also conserves the amount of energy resources being used to make the product. If you don't recycle, then the product that you could have recycled may end up in the landfill to decompose for thousands or millions of years. Or if left on the ground, it could be washed down into a storm drain and drained into the ocean. Or somebody might trip on it. Minerals are naturally occurring solids that form underground, such as amethysts, depending on conditions and chemicals present. Rocks make up a huge part of the Earth's surface. They are made up of a collection of minerals, such as coal or lava rock. Minerals and rocks can be obtained by being mined. Mining can be done in many ways. Some use pickaxes, while some use big machines or explosives to extract the minerals from the ore. Material resources can also come from plants and animals. Plants store energy in the form of sugar and starches. Humans harvest and consume these plants 
in order to obtain this energy. Some plants can be used to make objects such as rope, paper, or clothes. Animal, animals can be used as a form of transportation in some parts of the world. Animals can also provide meat as well as dairy and egg products. This concludes the end of my presentation. Thank you for tuning in to learn more about material resources. And as always, thanks for watching.